Hello guys, welcome to my channel, it's boy Chow the Chef and today I'm quite excited because I'll be sharing with you on how you can make yourself a traditional carabash, uh, locally known as Kaihori. So guys, I bought this from the market so you can go and get yourself one. So after getting your carabash, you are going to separate it into two equal parts using a hand saw. So make sure you cut them into two equal parts. Let me know in the comment section, have you ever seen a calabash in real life? And while doing this, uh, take it easy. Uh, take your time so that uh, you can uh, cut the, the calabash into two equal parts, guys. It's very important. So, and after struggling to cut it, I finally made it, you can see. Uh, look at it, you can see how it looks from the inside before it is cleaned up. And uh, it had a lot of scenes, so I'm going to set this aside and uh, when the rain comes, I'm going to plant them and have my own carabash. As you can see, this is the inside of the carabash. It has um, some stuff which look like a sponge. So you are going to clean uh, that part which looks like a sponge. You can see it. I think it protects the seed from, from damage. And right now I'm using a spoon to do uh, this work. You can see the those husks the way they look mm. so because the the edges were not even i used uh, sandpaper to smoothen them so that when i'm taking my porridge <laughs> i won't get uh, in the woods so you can look at it amazing <laughs> already practicing for the porridge guys so like i said the scenes were too many so i set them aside and uh, i'll be planting them guys so my mom told me in order for the carabash to turn out green uh, we are going to use the ash and uh, mix with water then uh, let it last for three days and everything will be fine so we mix the ash plus the water and uh, then filled the whole carabash so so that the, it, it can be easy for the that part like uh, i'm saying it look like a sponge to come off so you can see how we did it mixing the ash plus the water it look like the cement guys so like that like that so i filled all the carabashes then so we are going to let it last and see you in three days. Exactly three days later, here I am. And uh, I'm going to clean the carabash so that it can turn out uh, clean and perfect and so that it can be used uh, for various purposes. For example, drinking porridge. Uh, this one was one of the purpose this was used for in the in the traditional setting they also used to fetch uh, water using the the carabash i think it was the traditional jug if you can say so and in the comment section let me know how you call it in your local language guys so you can see uh, i'm cleaning the inside of the carabash and like just like my mother said uh, it was easy uh, for the that uh, part to come off very easy and did not spend a lot of time doing it yeah you can see and uh, i was still using a spoon so i i cleaned both of the carabash so that uh, everything can turn out amazing guys so as you can see here and there and uh, i'm almost done now 
yeah just like that you're finished you can see how amazing it looks guys <laughs> wonderful so from there i'm going to clean it so that uh, you know everything can be fantastic um, look at it what a, what a, what a carabash guys so this one is for me i'll be using it to drink porridge uh, most of the time so the final product looks like that amazing guys uh-huh and uh, i actually used to drink porridge with it <laughs> and i'm telling you amazing and also used to fetch water you can see for yourself guys see you in the next one guys